high hopes that Brixton Motorcycles would launch its long-awaited Bonneville-like 1200cc, but the company instead opted to quietly skip past the larger Italian stage for a more intimate production model reveal in Austria in early November. Officially called the Cromwell 1200, the bike made its first appearance at parent company KSR headquarters a few weeks ago, confirming that it is, as one might expect, a dead ringer for the Triumph Bonneville T120, right down to the engine layout and retro styling cues, and even several component options. The three-dimensional renderings and images released earlier this year primed for visual similarities to the upcoming Cromwell 1200 then called the M31 but these new photos finally shed some verifiable details of the Brit-referenced 1960s retro bike, with solo round headlamp, designed the familiar curved tank, curves up of the nose and pads on the sides, and an engine silhouette almost identical to the Bonneville, with its vertical twin cylinders and vertical radiator arrangement, all culminating in long dual exhaust that's at least not P-shooter style and topped by bench seat. Flat for two people about the same height as Bonnie. Even tossing a pair of fork gaiters into the upper right side KYB telescopic fork. But the main focus, of course, is the liquid-cooled 1.222cc engine, the largest Brixton to date, and emulating the Bonneville's 1.198cc parallel twin architecturally as well as claimed performance. The Cromwell fuel-injected twin also uses a single camshaft rotating in the cylinder head to actuate four valves per cylinder and is liquid-cooled. The six-speed gearbox is mated to a chain drive, and the dual exhaust system places the catalytic converter in front of the engine housing as well, as on the Bonneville. There's ride-by-wire fuel injection, and Euro 5 compliance is a given for both. The spec sheet doesn't tell the whole story. Key numbers such as bore and stroke, wheelbase, and rake are not included, but the performance figures claimed for both bikes are also in the same neighborhood. The T120 claims a peak of 79.9 bhp at 5,500 revolutions per minute, while the Brixton's peak power is slightly higher and arrives later in the Reverend range, with 80.5 horsepower at 6500. Torque peaks are also nearly identical with the Brixton's 79.4 pound-feet just a touch higher than Triumph's claimed 77.4, both coming in at 3,500 revolutions per minute. Although these figures are quoted on the Brixton website, they may still change slightly before actual production. Brixton also selected the appropriate components and electronics for the Cromwell 1200, sporting KYB suspension both front and rear, front dual-disc Nissan braking system with Bosch dual-channel abs, LED headlights all around, and a circular TFT display in the cockpit. Also get traction and cruise control as well as two eco and sport riding modes and an anti-theft lock system, so even if the bike isn't loaded with the latest technology, it's more than adequate for its class. With the launch of the Cromwell 1200 also comes flagship status, as it is Brixton's largest bike to date. There are 125 and 250cc Cromwell models similarly styled, with the same 1200 design language, but this bike is definitely a highlight of the Brixton lineup for the 2022 model year. Given that, the 1200's price tag should appeal to those looking for a less expensive Triumph alternative. Even with a slightly larger displacement engine, the Cromwell 1200 is positioned to be more affordable than the T120. 
Cromwell's 1200 is the brand's most robust offering yet, so it's surprising that Brixton opted for a more lo-fi approach to perhaps its most important model launch. While we expected EICMA's opening to be a certainty, the company is focusing on a smaller moving model at the show than the more anticipated Cromwell. That's probably because the European market is where Brixton's stampede is at this point, and where he sees the most interest in his product, most of which are under 500cc. The parent company of the KSR Group locates its headquarters and the newly opened design center where Cromwell is designed in Krems.